Got me crazy, but I'm not sure that other crops supposed to be in the crop where I've got crop that's not the crop that's in here. That makes sense. Hey, what's going on, everybody? DJ Coham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Pennsylvania here, Farm Sim 19. Today, we have got to go get ourselves a cultivator because, as you can see out here, we have some crop that is not supposed to be here. Actually, when I was coming through and doing uh, crop on this field, I accidentally started with canola. As you can see, we have canola across the way over here. However, yeah, that's not, th this is not canola. This is supposed to be like barley or something. And there's also a little bit over here as well. So I figured this would be the perfect opportunity to take this bad boy. It's got a three point hitch on it. Let's find ourselves a power hero or cultivator, something where this has plenty of power to handle and hook it up. So first off, let's find out how much power this has. Cause go in here to customize. See, we are rocking the power up a hundred percent. So that is 162 horsepower. Ooh, put that down. Okay. So 162 horsepower. Let's see. Let's maybe yeah, subsoilers. Okay. Uh, I don't think we're going to find any here. Anything in there that I really want. You know, I kind of want to jump into the power here everything and see if there's anything in here. There's always something good going on. Let's see, low horsepower. Let's see, um, Raby right here. A little something, not too bad. The Limkins are always good, but man, the power requirements are so high on those things. This bad boy right here. Hey, and we can change the color. Hey, oh, this might just be the go-to right here. Price is very affordable. I think it'll work. Let's go get it. I have one worry. <laughs> is this gonna be too big? I think this is like a three meter implement, something like that. This might be a little bit too big. I might have to trade this out for something a little bit smaller. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> yeah, I think we just wasted our money. There should be a very, very cheap one in here though. It's not the Grimmy. I, oh, do you guys remember the one? Yes, this one. Super cheap, super noise. Let's see, let's go with like a all black look or gray maybe. That's not changing anything, is it? No, it ain't. Uh, Dark gray, dark gray will work. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. Let's just go with this. Let's just stick with this. Let's see, 122, yep, that'll be good. Yeah, this is gonna be way, way better. Yes, yes, and we drop working without problem perfect all right let's yo that three-point hitch on the back is really cool looking that looks all right i've never seen anything like that before let's get this back over you know what i should have just bought this Eh, maybe maybe we'll buy something like this eventually the thing is we never need anything like this so there's no point also uh yes today we're gonna buy be buying all of the new goodies so we're gonna be buying at least one if not two new tractors plus a new combine today very very excited about all this so here's uh here's the thing why am i actually going through and taking the time to do this why would i not just select you know do the whole field and it would just ignore those sections well the combines that i use are modified a little bit which means that those combines are gonna oh i can't drive this out in the middle of the field without losing my crop can i Oh man, <laughs> hang on, let's find out. Let's drive over this and see if it, oh, that's, that's not gonna, that's not gonna be good. You know what? We're just gonna have to assume like a non-realism thing real quick, crop destruction off. We're gonna have to do that. I'm so sorry. Normally I play with crop destruction, even when I'm playing like my most unrealistic stuff. Not today, not today. All right, here we go. Drop it down cultivate and then we just need to get rid of this little section right here there we go first set good there and then second set back here let's see oh okay i guess we don't have lights that work through there drop it turn it on and rock and roll should be good to go now let's double check and make sure everything is good we'll zoom in uh still showing a little bit over there however it doesn't look like anything still here so I think we are good. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this power harrow, 
We'll just go ahead and send that back. Perfect. So now, I think we're okay. How's about this? Let's go ahead and get ourselves some new equipment because we're going to need it. Because I've already taken the liberty to take over a few new contracts. I know. I know. But don't worry. Harvesting contracts. You guys like harvesting contracts. Let's take a look at those and let's see what we've got. So first off, we have three harvesting contracts right here. We have field one, which is barley. And I should already have a combine over there. But we also have field number nine, which is oats. And field 31, which is canola. All set, ready to go. We do have a few other fields that are ready to go. But uh, most of the big money is coming from the fertilizing contracts. Though, we're not going to be doing a whole lot of that today. First off, let's just buy ourselves some new stuff. First piece will be the new combine. Like I said, we're going to be going with Case IH stuff for this farm. So we want Michelin and we want some big old 710 duels. Uh, I'm eh, probably just going to leave power where it is for now. US configuration, long pipe, and uh, I don't know if I want to go with max horsepower yet or not. I don't really think we need any more than 477. So let's just leave that there for now. Maybe later on down the road, we will uh, we will increase that. Now, this is a 1 million liter capacity combine. So something to keep in mind there, uh, it's going to be a little bit much. And we need a header for it as well. I'm not going to worry about a, uh, I'm not going to worry about any corn heads for it right now. We are going to get ourselves one of these. Well, who do we go with a six mile per hour or 19? Hmm. What what are we using right now? I think we're just using a standard six uh six. So we'll just go with this. Main color through here. I think I'm actually gonna change that to a black. We're gonna keep the middle black. Rim color is fine. And then design color. This will be case IH. And we'll make sure that this matches as well. Perfect. Got that? All right. So there's that. Now we need some tractors. I know that we're going to be using something a little bit bigger. Oh yeah, I've totally forgot. I already have our one of at least one of our tractors picked out. I'm gonna use a new Steiger. Now it's not gonna be one of these right here. It's actually gonna be, I think it's no. Yes, this one right here. I've wanted to use this, but I never could. As long as we've got rear threes, yes, we do. Uh configurations. We can, hey, we can have a little bit of fun with this. Let's put some weight on the front. Well, you know, let's not worry about weight on the front yet. Extremities. Let's see. Let's make sure that this is a U.S. setup. Looking good there. Wheels. Oh, oh yeah. We want to go with like the biggest wheels that we possibly can. I think those are the biggest ones. Oh, you can do a road track on here as well. That's pretty cool. We're not doing going to do a road track on here, though. We're going to use these big honking boys right here. Uh, GPS. Nah, we don't need that on there. And then let's go with a big engine. How's about that? So this is going to give us 535 horsepower. And it is also going to give us those 3D tracks because this is the old model, not the new model. Though you can still download the new model if you would like. Let's get it. There's that. And we need something smaller. We don't need a huge tractor. I'm thinking like one of these, but maybe modified. So we've got one from, uh, oh, we could go with that, though it is not Case IH. We do have one of these. Now this is very nice. However, it's a little bit big for what I want to use for. Uh, could go with an 89. Is this the one that I normally go with? I think this is the one I normally go with. I'm going to poke around, see if I can find the one that I generally use. Well, this isn't generally the one that I use, but I think this is what I'm going to go with right here. This is the case 1255, 1455. I do believe this is an all platform model. It's beautiful. So I'm going with this 100%. We've also got a front loader option for this as well, which is very nice. Also, this was extremely affordable as well. Only $87,000. So I figured well, that should... Why am I looking up here? That should be okay. So I think this is a good way to start our uh, new models. Absolutely gorgeous. I love this tractor right here. This is one of my favorite tractors in game, period. And this is big. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's take a look. We've got contracts. Let's, uh, let's go and get some of these contracts started. See, field nine and field 31. Field nine, 
Field 31, where are those going to be at? Let's jump up real quick. See, Field 9's over by our main farm, and then Field 31 is down. So, what better place to start than Field number 9? All right, we might not actually be able to use the new model. Uh, walking around it, just fine. Get in it. Oh, man, everything's okay. Oh, it's when I move. That's what it is. So we turn it on, okay start moving and it is real rough so i'm gonna go ahead and sell that real quick and uh and we will replace that eventually there we go all right let's just start making this let's keep rocking baby let's keep rocking here is our harvesting setup at least for today we're gonna be running the case age 1455 all decked out right here i've just bought a brand new crone uh loading wagon and I know you're probably like, uh, don't you already have one of those? I, I do. However, it's not, it's not a crone anymore. It's whatever brand this is. I thought it looked really good behind the new Holland. So I left it that. Also, uh, I traded this Steiger that we had for this or the uh, quad track for this. I figure you guys would be cool with that. Uh, this has like a thousand horsepower. We're going to be just fine. <laughs> Yeet. We've also got from Mantrid his trailer right here with the truck that we bought the last episode. Everything's rocking. I think we're going to be just fine with this. So let's see if we can keep from throwing this. Let's go ahead and select our combine. Get that unfolded. Let's double check. Make sure straw swap is enabled, which it is. And I think we're ready to go. All things considered. I think uh should be... Ooh, slow it down, baby. Here we go. Slow it down. Let's hit our plus zero. Start. Drop it down and rock and roll so this is a big old field of oats i do love oats as one of my favorite things oats and grass uh, as a matter of fact as you probably saw over there we have a uh, a grass setup ready to go because we've got a bunch of fields that need to be mown um we might do that on this video or we may just not do that we may like start it at the end of a episode and i'll be like yeah check it out we're gonna do this but I won't do it on screen because I understand. I understand so much. Don't worry, I get it. So yeah, we've got a lot, to, a lot to unfold here, at least with this contract. I get we have three harvesting contracts that I've selected, at least as of right now. Could be more. We'll find out. But we have a lot of work to do, and we have new Case International stuff. Now I will tell you, do keep in mind that generally generally all things being considered i would not use the case stuff for running contracts that's going to be like a new holland type job or would choose something completely different altogether as you know we're using new holland for our smaller farm so for the sheep and uh the mowing setups things like that and then we have our case international for the uh the setups that we've got for the main farm but we need something else maybe john deere maybe we use a different brand completely if you got any ideas hey drop them down below but i am going to take a bit of a break and see how much of this field i can knock out only a little bit more to go now oh do we get it yeah there we go all right <laughs> see, i totally forgot i keep turning on and off tool height control for harvester because on pc you really don't need it uh, it, though it is handy, I don't use it with any combines that actually need the mod. Uh, however, for uh, console players, it is like a have-to-have type of thing, which makes it absolutely amazing. All right, let's rock and roll. All done through there. And also the 7240, I was a little worried that this engine wouldn't be able to keep up. The hills on here has been totally fine. I've had no issues whatsoever. And it's been rocking, baby. And we just hit... 50,000 liters. All right. So not a not a lot, to be fair, in the uh, contract world. But hey, for an early summer contract, I will take it. These generally aren't as prolific anyway. So hey, that's going to be just fine. And our last little bit right here. This should put us up, hopefully, uh, not, not quite up to 52 yet. But it is good. So now... We've got all that done. Let's go ahead and uh, purge that. There we go. Dust is cut. Take the header. 
Open her up. Bloop. Just like so. And then we're going to take this, drop this into semi truck. We'll come back through. We'll pick all this up. Uh, it is a mod. A lot of you guys have asked me, you know, what is the, what's the mod? How do I, oh boy. Great. There we go. Uh, what is the mod that I pick up straw at contracts? And that is, uh, I think it's just straw at contracts. I'm, I'm not quite sure to be honest with you. It's something like that. Regardless, it works great for me and, and I really like it. it allows me to save some extra straw and get straw off of contracts where generally I would not be able to. Makes things a whole lot easier for me. All right, let's open her up. And that's about it. It's kind of pretty straightforward. It's just harvesting today, getting a few things done. What we'll do is we'll take this and we'll kind of set this to our next contract, which should be down. Yep, fill 31. Rock and rolling. So we've actually done really, really well when it comes to straw off of this field. We've already filled up one trailer. Now these hold 250,000 liters. Uh, it is a modified version that I did. I don't think it holds too much, at least personally, I don't think this holds too much, but it's enough and it looks good. It's a little bit smaller. And it, for me, the further along I get with farm sim, the more I'm like, well, I just want to kind of use the equipment and have fun with it. I don't care if it's realistic or not like this tractor is absolutely beautiful this uh loading wagon is one of my favorite loading wagons in the game and it could be changed all kinds of stuff and now i'm using two of them yeah it's not this big like the the huge big 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 one but i like this i like this i think the look of it looks good even if this tractor is modified to have like 400 plus horsepower looks cool that's what matters to me also, one thing we're gonna do is because we're like basically one day before harvest, um, our next run through that we have with all the fertilizing contracts, what I'm actually gonna do is go in and we are gonna turn precision farming on. Now, we do have precision farming turned on. Don't get me wrong there. However, uh, we are actually gonna come through and eh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's good where that's at. Where is this this is what we need we're going to turn precision farming on and we're going to do activate automatic application rate for all of the fertilizer that way we don't have to come through do it again and the fields are ready to go that way our fields will be optimally fertilized now big question where are we heading to with this this is going to be oats we are heading to the richard feed and seed mill and i can never remember where that is ah yes the same place that it always is. Perfect. So in here, we only need to get rid of 75% of this to get us up to our total amount, uh, meaning that that should be, uh, what's that, around 10 or 15,000 liters left, something like that. So we're gonna stop this when it gets down to about 30. We'll get our number there. There we go, we'll stop that. Okay, 42%. We'll take it down to 20. We'll see what our number is down there. 61. 69 nice watch it of course 74 come on dump it there we go oh oh contract completed all right and we didn't have to waste any either that's one thing that i'm gonna start doing is barely letting a little bit out here and there so all we gotta do is go in here now and complete that contract completed so eleven thousand dollars for the contract we got over three hundred thousand liters of straw off that field and we have collected fourteen thousand liters of oats not bad because those oats are going to make us 30 grand right there that's pretty good the next one is going to be field number one and our relocation over to field one has been completed we're basically doing the same thing as you could see i already have two combines up here this bad boy right here is actually going to have to go. I don't need you no more, fam. You good. <laughs> you good. Let's get this one out of the way. Uh, yeah, straight up, uh, we don't need this combine for this setup. Uh, I'm just going to use their main one out there, the, the big Case IH. And I'm not going to worry about using this little New Holland because this little New Holland, though, well, it won't hold as much. It actually holds like 10 times less or 90% less whatever I don't, I don't know math not allowed to do math on screen why am i trying uh it actually engine starting no stop it 
Uh, it actually... Get out of the way. It's smaller. It's got a smaller head. It's got a 9 meter head versus... 14. 12? I don't know what this is. It's big. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Let's double check. Make sure everything's still good. Shrill Swath has been enabled. Drop this down. Drop the header. And go. And this is going to be Barley. Now, uh... If you remember from year one, any barley or wheat, we actually keep. We don't sell any of that. Plus, barley is our new crop. So basically, one year we feed our chickens wheat. The next year, we feed our chickens barley. That way, we've got a constant supply of, uh, of crops like that coming in. And we're good to go. Here's that. Perfect. And plus, we save all of the straw from these contracts because we can actually make some money off that. We could do bales, but right now we actually have zero. Ooh, we're stuck in the trees. Right now we actually have zero uh, straw saved up from last year. So all of the straw that we collect in year two is going to be going into our silo. We're not going to be selling any of that. Eventually we will, but right now we're not going to. So yet another contract i think these may be the only contracts that we do today just because we've still got a lot of other work including mowing to do so how's about this let's complete this contract we do have the canola contract over on field 31 as well we want to hit that that one's going to be done a little bit differently because we're going to be bailing up that straw uh, since it is canola straw we could use it for our animals if we wanted to uh, however we are not going to be doing that so let's rock and roll get this field done and we're done that is this field completed of 135,000 liters of barley that's not too bad uh we're we'll get 25 percent of that what whatever 25 percent of that is as you can see we've got tons of straw here as well so we're gonna be just fine there um and then we've got one more contract to do which is the canola field which i'm very excited about uh and let's see i don't remember what i planted in my own fields canola and barley cool oh yeah don't I have grass but, oh man i got a mow today too this is so much going on oh and let's go ahead and do this real quick open that up all right, cool. Uh, sometimes straw could get... Oh, come on! Sometimes straw could get kind of just stuck back there uh, and it could drop anywhere, especially whenever you go right up to the combine. So we'll double check, see, make sure. Yeah, I think everything's good. Yeah, you, you're just going to have to wait. Nope, I, I'm a four-way zone. You got to stop. Don't... Don't beepity beepity at me. You guys remember yesterday we came down here to the BGA and today we are coming down here again, but it's for something a little bit different. This is actually where we are delivering crop from the field that we just harvested, the barley field, which by the way, I've got all the straw up. We got over 500,000 liters of straw up and off of this run right here, this should be everything. We need to double check just to make sure in here. Okay, so we're... 84% good. We're looking good. Barley edge grain vault. Awesome. So I'm going to sell about uh, 70 ish, 70,000 liters. We'll get down to the point where we've got about uh, 40,000 liters in here left. And then we will see. Well, actually, we can stop right here at 50. Okay. So not quite enough yet. Not quite enough yet. Let's stop it right here. Okay, there's 66%. Sell another 5,000. 71. Sell another few. There we go. There's that. Oh. No, I can't get it to sell anything. 74. Oh. We're so close. Come on, sell over there we go. All right. So now we've got 12,000 liters in here. Not only that, we've also still got 25,000 liters in the combine, meaning that we profited a whole lot off of that field. What do we get? What was that 37, almost 38,000 liters extra of barley just off of one field? Not too bad. Hey, we've got one more. It's a canola field, and this one's going to be very interesting it's a small field but we're gonna make a lot of money i'll explain why 
For the last one, canola. I said it's gonna be different. This is different because there's no normal straw when it comes to canola. These crops are canola straw, especially when using the straw me mod. So, ooh, <laughs> a little janky. All right, time to hit reset. There we go. Much, much better. Nice and smooth. So with this one, we're going to go in and we're going to harvest like normal and we're going to bale because, well, the canola straw, though we could keep it, there's actually no real reason to hang on to it because at the end of the day, oh no, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> We just wasted a whole bunch right there, didn't we? Oh man, that's gonna stink. That's all right. Uh, but to be fair, we probably just wasted about a thousand dollars. Yikes. Well, uh, moving on and forth. You can see it's much, much different. Uh, we're gonna cut through, we're gonna bail all of this up. The canola, yes, though it is valuable. The canola straw itself on this field as a contract field is going to be much, much more valuable. So that's why I wanted to do this. Uh, again, at the end of the day as well, fertilizer gotcha. Well, actually, now that we have the Eurospan pack, or was it the Lizard uh, Fertilizer Pack, OBE Fertilizer Spreaders, something like that. Um, now that we have that for all platforms, there's quite a bit that you could do with uh, contracts now. Like, harvesting contracts have always been extremely profitable. However, you know, now that the, uh, well, now you have tool hut control for Harvester, well, that makes the harvesting contracts even better because you could go faster with them. And if you have the, uh, what was it, the uh, collect straw or missions, straw missions or whatever it is, you've got that. And then you, uh, well, PC only, of course, but uh, if you're on console, well, fertilizing contracts, you could use that same Eurospan pack to go 36 meters at as fast as your tractor will go, put it on JCB if you want and be fine there. And then obviously you could um, seed with the Eurospin pack as well with OBE spreaders. So a lot has come out even here recently that has made doing contracts so profitable and so valuable. Yes, they. It, it's almost like it's too easy to make money with contracts. I mean, you know, we've done virtually only contracts on this map. Uh, we've spent an entire year doing uh, normal, normal farming and grass farming, that type of thing. But, you know, we did basically just normal farming, small fields, but we ended up making what, what over a million dollars our first year because contracts. They're so profitable, they're so valuable. I say if you have a contract, whether it be seeding, fertilizing, or harvesting, regardless of what platform you're on, you have no excuse not to do it because things make so much money. Speaking of, uh, we should make some money ourselves. So I'm gonna finish this up and uh, we're gonna come through, we're gonna bell all this up and collect it and we're gonna take it and sell it. Here's our last bell to pick up. I know we've got seven bells and you're like, DJ, that's, that's not a lot of bells. These, these are, 50,000 liters each. That's what, one, two, 350,000 liters right there, roughly-ish, somewhere around there. Yeah, this is all right with me. I'm cool with this. And the best price for these bales specifically is gonna be right up here at Eureka Farms. This will be our last thing today. I know I said that we would get in here and we would get some mowing done, but it's just not gonna happen today. Also, I had an idea. What if we use these case tractors for the Goham Co and just keep using New Holland for personal tractors? Huh. Let me know what you guys think. We're going to be doing a lot of contracts, so it's not like anything's going to be wild right there. Yeah, check that out. $134,000 just from bales. Yeah, I'm all right with that. And the last little bit of our last bit of contract right here is gonna be taking this over to Animal Stockyard. Now this is going to be quite fun trying to get this in here. I think we could do it. Shouldn't have much of a problem. Nah, not a bunch of problem at all. I mean, for one, we've got really, really good lean on the front axles and we've got great lean on the rear axles as well. 
no issues whatsoever there. All right, so we have 52,000 liters in here. Let's get down to about 20,000 liters, and that should get us near the 70-ish percent mark, and we'll baby it from there. So about right there. Okay, 62%, not bad. We'll drop this down another couple. Okay, 71%. But out of there, contract on field 31 finished. There we go. Money's in the bank. We have another 14,715 liters extra here that we get to save, keep, and put back on our main farm. Today's been a great day. But unfortunately, all great days must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new. Enjoy the GoAm fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. I will very likely go ahead and start mowing and getting some of that over and done with. We'll show some final progress in the next video. All right, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.